Last topic we want to talk about, Matt Patricia, head coach of the Detroit Lions, former head coach of the Lions, has been fired after posting a 13-29-1 career record with the Lions in two and a half seasons. He was fired after that Thanksgiving Day game. Lions went 4-7, and seven, and at that point, the Lions were like, all right, we've had enough. Let's move on. Long time coming, and I don't think anybody's arguing this decision within the uh, Lions organization or uh, for you guys that are Detroit Lions fans as well, you guys are excited about the uh, head coaching candidates that could come in to coach Detroit, which we'll be talking about in just a bit. But yeah, this isn't surprising at any point. Matt Patricia just hasn't really done much since he uh, came to Detroit. You know, for instance, his uh, head coaching career debut was a 48-17 to loss on Monday Night Football. You guys remember that? To the New York Jets. So uh, what a game for him. And then... Uh, a lot of games, a lot of close victories that he could have had, but he he gave up, and the coaching just wasn't there, and a lot of people were just saying that, okay, well, Matt Patricia, in post-game conferences, he was just calling out his players. He was uh, finger-pointing, and he wasn't pointing the, the blame at him, and uh, a lot of tension, and a lot of former players coming out as well that have been coached under Patricia saying that he's not deserving of the head coaching position. And uh, finally, you know, we're moving on at this point, and the lines will be moving on and looking at more head coaching candidates Moving on in the future. But as far as the Lions' future, this was good for them and for Matthew Stafford, who's now 33 years old. His days are winding down. Okay, He's going to be at the tail end of his career. He's been to, I believe, two or three playoff appearances, but he hasn't had a postseason game victory just yet. So you need to get him a coach to get the most out of him in his days before his, his playing days do wind down. He's still a very talented quarterback. He makes some mistakes here and there, and we don't know whether that's him as a player just yet or him as uh, as a head coach or, or Matt Patricia as a head coach in the offense that he, that he wants to call. But Stafford has been making some mistakes, and you want to get a head coach in there that's going to help ease those mistakes down, and Stafford doesn't have to do way too much to make up for the lack of offense. But if we want to talk about offense and what they have going on right now, DeAndre Swift, Adrian Peterson, running back, for the Detroit Lions, came out and stated that he doesn't understand why it took this long for DeAndre Swift to get his starting job. He stated that just a couple of weeks ago, and it took a very long, do- very long time, and I don't understand why. Matt Patricia, for some reason, was not giving DeAndre Swift the majority of the carries or making him the starting running back until a couple of weeks ago, prior to his concussion. I don't know what that may be, and that might be bad coaching on Matt Patricia's fault, but maybe DeAndre Swift just needed to develop more and just wanted to give the the veteran the start. But Swift is the future of Detroit. He really is. Much better than Kerryon Johnson, much better than Adrian Peterson. In my eyes, and this is me talking early because I haven't done any sort of research at all. So, you know, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I feel like just talent-wise and opportunity-wise, DeAndre Swift, for you guys that play fantasy football, is going to be a first-round prospect in fantasy football next season. He's going to be freaking good. So DeAndre Swift, I love him a lot. He's the future of that Detroit Lions offense. But for the Lions moving forward, who are the head coaching candidates that they can look forward in in signing uh, to be their next head coach? The number one candidate that comes to my mind, and I feel like comes into the minds of many people, that is Robert Sala. The, the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. The main reason why is because he was a head coaching candidate last year. And for some reason, it just didn't work out. Like all the head coaching vacancies were filled at that point, And uh, he just didn't get hired as a head coach. But he grew up in Dearborn, Michigan, not that far away from Detroit. And he began his coaching career at Michigan State. He has a lot of ties to the state of Michigan. And if anything, if any head coaching vacancy is open that Robert Sala is being under serious consideration to be the head coach of, it's going to be Detroit that Sala would want to go to because of just the the environment and him growing up in Michigan. So I, I feel like Sala has a good chance of being the Lions head coach, and that'll be a very good hire, a defensive minded coach that is uh, much better than... Uh, than Matt Patricia. Actually, as a matter of fact, my friend Larry, who's a New England Patriots fan, was just criticizing Matt Patricia the other day about him being the defensive coordinator uh, in 2011 when the Patriots went to the Super Bowl, having the worst ranked defense that year. It was it was the Patriots and then the Saints. So the Patriots were 31st that year. Criticizing Matt Patricia, saying that he's not capable of being a head coach and uh, 
Finally, if you want a good defensive-minded coach that has proven to have a good defense and not just name value because uh, he was under the staff of Bill Belichick, give Robert Sala a chance. 